Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The largest airplane in the world, the Maria Antonov 225, is now being rebuilt. After being destroyed during a Russian invasion, an attack, which could present fresh challenges for engineers. This 1990-built airplane made significant contributions to the transportation sector. It will now receive a 21st century touch before being rebuilt. Recently, the Antonov An-225 aircraft manufacturer revealed that design work on a brand new Antonov An-225 Maria had already started that the cost of building this new design would be around $500 million. Approximately 30% of the components can currently be employed for the envisioned second aircraft, according to the available expert opinion. We will look at some of the other factors that may be involved in the construction of this aircraft and determine whether Airbus is the most appropriate aerospace business to rebuild this aircraft. Engine selection. Currently, six of Chenko Progress Lotarev D18T3 shaft turbofan engines are being used to power the Antonov An-225. One of its engines is entirely broken. It can be repaired, but doing so presents new difficulties, and it is still unable to use a different engine type to provide a balanced push for aircraft. The Rolls-Royce Trent 700 type of engine, which has nearly the thrust needed previously for the Antonov and 225 aircraft, is the most viable option. Airbus A330 aircraft presently use Trent 700 engines and can produce up to 316.3 kN. With the greatest in-service thrust of 72,000 pounds, which is greater than the existing Antonov and 225. If it truly fits the thirst of the new Antonov and 225 aircraft, there is even a prospect of decreasing the engine from 6 to 4. Adopting a brand new engine will significantly raise the aircraft's costs. However, it will be taken into consideration to provide this aircraft a further 20 years of maintenance-free operation. Rebuilding two wings. If two wings were rebuilt from the ground up, it would be considerably better for the aircraft's long day of recycling and its ability to survive extended periods of time without experiencing structural strain from the existing wings. For two wings, the present fuselage that was intended and is already being produced can be restored in order to manufacture new aircraft. <music> Avionics the crew members are the thing that stands out the most while the Antonov An-225 is being flown. Since the airplane was built in 1990 and was the first to be constructed on such a large scale, it was powered by a conventional aviation mechanism that required roughly six people to operate it literally. Two are for piloting aircraft, two are for monitoring flight gauges, and two are for flight engineers and navigators. If the latest, most advanced aviation system is added to the aircraft, it may be possible to decrease the crew of the new Antonov aircraft to four. This will help to reduce overall control monitoring. Higher efficiency. This aircraft can increase its efficiency by adding the newest technologies and reducing the mechanical instruments that were previously used inside for tasks like activating hydraulics. These mechanical instruments will be replaced with electric solenoids and other devices, which will significantly reduce the weight of the aircraft and allow it to travel farther. Low maintenance. Since large airplanes require a large maintenance staff after being upgraded during production, this aircraft can have a shorter maintenance period thanks to its modern avionics and monitoring system. 
The greatest option for rebuilding the aircraft will be Airbus, which is now producing the A380 and still uses the most up-to-date manufacturing techniques to give the Antonov and 225 new life. How Airbus can assist in rebuilding the Antonov and 225. Like Boeing, Airbus is renowned for its technological advancements in the aerospace industry. When it comes to Airbus, the company has created all the technology necessary to improve productivity and access to cutting-edge manufacturing facilities. After the Boeing 747, the A380 was the second largest commercial aircraft ever built for passengers. Airbus continues to operate on it. The best company to assist in rebuilding the Antonov and 225 plane will be Airbus. They will learn about new difficulties in aerospace engineering while working to build the largest aircraft in the world. If they assist in making history by restoring it, Thanks for watching, please let us know what do you think about new and 225 aircraft.